yeah, so I'm Claire Redfern. Are you thinking, maybe right now, I would love to join Team Inspire, but I can't afford the kit right now. So you may have spoken to me, you may have spoken to one of the team, and you're thinking, wow, the kit is amazing. I'm getting over a couple of hundred quid's worth of products. Actually, the business opportunity sounds fantastic. I can work from home in my pajamas. Um, I get to uh, get my hands on all these amazing products. I get in that community, that, that amazing family community that we have in our team of uh, completely inspiring women, but I can't afford to buy the kit. Well, I'm gonna give you a few ideas because if you're in that position where you think, I can't afford to spend £69 on a kit, then you probably really need this. Um, you know, we all want and deserve to have a little bit of extra money in our pocket. We want to be able to pay for the after school clubs. We want to be able to pay for the swimming lessons or the day trips or food, anything, nappies. We all want that sort of stress-free, money-worry life. Um, and if you can't, if you haven't got that right now, then you probably need this. What you also need is drive uh, and um, a determination to work for it because it ain't going to get gifted to you. So you do need to put some effort in to get, and what you put in, um, the effort that you will put in, the return will be the rewards that you get for that. So here's a few ideas. I'm going to be dead honest from the get-go. When I bought the kit, I put it on my credit card. And that was because I had, uh, I was feeling miserable, quite honestly, and I shop when I'm miserable. <laughs> like, honesty time from Redfern there. But yeah, I do, I shop when I'm, when I'm feeling down. And I didn't have any money, so I put it on my credit card. And I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to treat myself and I'll pay it off. Um, I had no intention of selling when I first bought that kit. And then it arrived and I put it on my face and I was like, oh, it's amazing. So then I set myself a little target. I'm going to sell stuff and pay off the £69 that I put on my credit card. I'm going to earn the commission to pay that off. And I did. And I did it before my next payment was due. So I didn't pay any interest. Um, I'm not suggesting that you all go out and get a credit card and put this on your credit card. I'm not suggesting that whatsoever. I'm just telling you my story. It's what I did. But there are other ideas. So this is something that I'm doing right now. Um, I'm saving for... I'm going to America in a few weeks time and I'm saving for that and I put a self-imposed £5 note ban <laughs> on myself so I, I don't spend £5 notes and every time I get a £5 note I put it in a money jar, you know them ones that you have to smash to get in, one of them um, and I do that for one main reason, two main reasons, I'm going to do two. The first thing is, is that if I said to you what was the last thing you spent a £5 note on, you probably couldn't remember. You'd be like, Because uh. anything of real juiciness is going to cost you more than a fiver. And anything less than a fiver is probably going to be crap. So, sweets, fizzy drinks, chocolate, in my case, that's generally what I would spend my £5 on. Which means that not only am I saving in my pocket, I'm saving on my waistline as well, which is something that I really need to do right now. So, um, so yeah, I just don't spend £5 notes. And then I'll think, mm, well, I'm not going to buy a whisper with a £10 note. So then I'll not buy the whisper. Again, good for the waistline. Um, I don't spend £2 coins either. That's another one, a big saver. I think, uh, I'm surprised there are only £2 coins in circulation, actually, because everybody saves £2 coins. <laughs> they must all be locked in money boxes around the UK. Um, so, yeah, £5 note, but you save up really, really quickly. I did it for a month and saved over £200. I don't even know what, I can't even tell you what I would have spent that £200 on, but I can tell you now I wouldn't have had a clue. So, £5 note, uh, if you can afford to do it, then give that a try. It's, it's always a good little test for you as well. Um, car boot sales are always a winner for money. Go through your wardrobe. I bet you have got a load of crap in your wardrobe that you have never worn. <laughs> Shoes, handbags, not worn them for ages. Get them on the for sale and swap sites. You know, you only need to sell half a dozen things for... 10, 12, 15 quid and you've got your money for your kit. Um, the other thing you can do is set your VIP group up now. Speak to your sponsor, speak to me. You can start taking pre-orders. So you can say, I'm, I'm joining as a presenter at the end of the month uh, and you can start promoting the products. 
if you've got any even better still if you live nearby to the to your sponsor you could maybe borrow a pamper pack or something like that um, and you can take pre-order so that the day that you put your order in for your kit you've got orders ready to put in and as soon as you've got orders ready to put in you're going to get paid your commission three hours later see where i'm coming with that so you know you get enough orders and you you are laughing because you are basically paid out and you're getting that kit yeah, and you, it's not it's like kind of cost neutral in it so there's a few ideas there's probably loads loads more i'm not suggesting that you get into debt to do this but what i am saying is there are ways that you can find that money if you really 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 want to to take this opportunity and run with it and see the successes that me and some of my fellow presenters are seeing you could do that you could do i have absolutely no shadow of a doubt you could do that so i hope that's helpful my inbox is always open drop me a message i'm uh, more than happy to speak to you see you all soon